Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Law and Ethics. I've really enjoyed teaching this class over the last several years. It's got a lot of great information in it. And I really enjoy the textbook. So the Pearson textbook that you're going to use in this class has great information that's really relevant to your career. So look, I want to start off by saying this is an online class. The lectures are pre-recorded and I do weekly check-ins, usually on a Saturday morning that I post here in the announcement page. The check-ins are supposed to give you information that you need to be ready for the next week. So the week technically starts on Monday morning at like 12.01 a.m. per se. But I want to give you the information early so you have an opportunity to get start, started on the next week ahead of time, if that's what you would like to do. So I want to start by looking at the course, and I also want to start by saying I'm here to help in any way I can. And, of course, if you need anything, please email me. This class might be online, but I have uh, weekly Zoom times that you're able to talk to me, and I'm also available at any point in time during the week if you reach out. Uh, I'll set up a call. I'll work with you via email. Whatever it takes to make sure you're comfortable with this class, I'm willing to do. So reach out to me anytime. My number and my email are here listed in the announcement, so make sure to use that if needed. All right, let's take a look at this class. I think you're going to really like the setup. It's really easy for you to use, and uh, it's really intuitive. So let's dig in really quickly. I'm not going to move the screen over, but if you look on the left side of your screen, you have a couple of different sections. You have announcements, course syllabus, course content, resource, tools, and instructor. Let's start off by looking at the instructor page really quickly. So this is a little information about me and my bio. Of course, a really old picture, but... I like to still think that I'm a little bit younger than I really am. Um, I have been in healthcare for a number of different years. I started off, of course, going to school uh, for health science and then went into my master's degree at St. Joe's in Philadelphia. Finished that and I'm pursuing a doctorate currently, which hopefully I'll be done with in 2024. From that perspective as well, I moved to Alaska back in 2012, 2013. Uh, and I worked at a rural critical access hospital for a number of years and then transferred down to Swedish, which is a large, large of course, medical center in Seattle. I'm sure all of you are aware of Swedish Metal, Medical Group. Swedish for a number of years, then transferred down to Providence, and that's where I'm at today. I work at Providence Medical Group. I'm the director of operations there for all of our ambulatory clinic sites. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun, and I deal with law and ethics every day in my career. So all this information that we're going over is something that's really relevant to me and it's something I enjoy teaching because it really means a lot in the spectrum of healthcare. So let's move on and take a look at the course syllabus. I'm not going to go over both the course schedule and the course syllabus, but you're able to look at those together. The course syllabus is subject to change because I'm sorry, not the syllabus. Syllabus is going to stay the same. The course schedule is subject to change because there's going to be information in there that's relevant to each week's um, due dates. But sometimes things happen and maybe we want to go over something else. So at times the schedule can change. So I put that as an asterisk in there so you can take a look at it. But look at the syllabus. It's not going to change. The course schedule is subject to change. So. Uh, that's a little bit of relevant information there. When you take a look at the course content, you're going to see some information about office hours. I do have office hours ready and available for you. You have to reach out to ask for it, though. So email me at any time, and we'll set up a time to talk. I've talked to some students for over an hour. We work together. I'm happy to do that. That's what I'm here to do, and I'm here to help you in any way I can. You also have a community forum. The community forum is helpful, so when you have a question that might be relevant to other students, maybe they have the same question, you could throw it in the forum, I'll answer, and then everyone will be able to see. So that's a really helpful way to communicate back and forth with each other. You do have some information about legal research. There is a legal research paper that's going to be due, and you can see that in the course schedule, and it's actually in the syllabus as well as one of the items, the largest items of your grade. So take a look at that. It's not something I want you to worry about right now. It's due probably mid-year, well, not mid-year, mid-course per se. Uh, in a few months. So take a look at that when you get a chance. It's something that you probably want to get started on early, but it's not something I would worry about in the first week. So as we dig in a little bit more, we're starting on Module 1. We do have an extended week this week, so we'll look at that in a second. But Module 1 is here. Uh, it's going to be in the course uh, content section. 
each module. So when we talk about what's due each week, uh, module one is what's due this week. Well, it's going to be extended week, so next week, per se. And we'll look at that in a second. But you're going to have a lecture, which is listed at the top of the course content section. You're going to have a few videos which are relevant and helpful to this week's material. And you do have two here about healthcare in general and law and ethics. Uh, it's going to say, of course, each week that you need to read a chapter. This week is chapter one. And then you have review questions, which are going to be due uh, not this week, but next week. And we're going to look at the due dates here in a second. But that is what's uh, in the course content section each week. And that's really relevant to what we have uh, to do in perspective to this class. So that's the course content section. The resource section of the class is going to talk a little bit about your textbook. So I listed the textbook there. That's the biggest resource that you have in this class. So be sure to take a look at that. Make sure you have it. If you don't have it, uh, reach out to me. I'm happy to help accommodate that. I know most of you will already have the textbook. The tools section, of course, have a lot uh, of different information that might be helpful and it's relevant to Blackboard. I think the library is located in here, which is really great. But we uh, also use Google Scholar in this class, which is really simple and uh, beneficial to use. If you use Google Search at any point in time, which I know you all have, Google Scholar is the second best, easiest thing when it comes to legal research or any research in general. Uh, so we're at the tools section. We looked at instructor already. You have my P and my email, which is going to have a little bit of information about my email, how to reach out to me, but I've already listed that. The library is also listed here. Uh, it's got another section. You can actually click on it. It's a PMI online library, which is great. EBSCO is an awesome database that we can use, um, but of course, I'm going to give you an overview of Google Scholar as well. So let's go back to the course schedule uh, and take a look at some information relevant to this week. Week one, week one is not due until 1217 at midnight. Of course, from that perspective, uh, week one is an extended week. Why I said subject to change, I wanted to make sure that I hit the schedule right on week two. I was just looking 1220 looks like a short week. It is because it is a short week from the perspective of uh, that's the Christmas holiday. So I put due on 1220 for module two review questions because we have the Christmas holiday coming up. But uh, your first week is an extended week. It's not due until 1217. So that gives you time to take a look at the course, get used to it, and then also jump in to week one. So when you jump into this class, you have a pretty much 10 days to really get oriented and make sure you're ready to go and you have all the information you need. I didn't want to open the class midweek and then have the stuff due on Sunday and not have you uh, get enough time in order to really understand what's what's next per se. So Week one is an extended week. Uh, I hope that helps in regards to getting used to your information. When I say information, I mean class, of course. So uh, from that perspective, jump into week one. Uh, I'll have another video that I put out on Saturday again uh, of next week to give you more of an overview about this class. This is the first one. Hopefully it was helpful. I know it's eight minutes long, a little longer than I like to do my check-ins, but reach out if you have any questions. And I want you to jump in, start reading the material, watch the lecture. Of course, um, take a look at the textbook, all that great stuff. And then if you have any needs, you can always reach out to me. I'm looking forward to this class with you, and I really, really anticipate having a great time. It's not meant to be super, super hard, but if you give effort and you try, you're going to do a great job. Reach out if I can help you in any way. Thanks so much.